Alrighty, everybody, today I thought I'd do a different tutorial, different than a Photoshop one, because, well, to tell the truth, I don't really want to do one. And I'm sick at home, so I figured I'd show you how to access a um, another Mac that's on your network. And because a lot of people really want to know how to do that without having to buy the Leopard OS 10 server edition because that's kind of expensive. And if you only have two computers on a network, why would you need the server edition? So, um, what you want to do, the first thing is, you want to go uh, to an, your, the computer you want to control. So go to the computer you want to control. Let me uh, do that really quick. So I'm on my mom's computer now. This is my mom's computer. I logged in as the system administrator. It can be any administrator account. First thing you do is go to system preferences. And you go on, you go to sharing, the sharing tab underneath internet and network. Make sure it's unlocked and turn on file sharing, printer sharing, remote management. Remote management is the most important one. And Bluetooth sharing. You don't need printer sharing or file sharing, but that's if you want to access files. Uh, then you can go ahead and uh, choose a folder of someone. It can be any folder. Um, and remember, this is on the other computer. And choose the, uh, this stuff. And go ahead and go to Options. And then you can choose an account that you want to be able to share on. And you can lock to prevent further changes, save everything. Alright, now I'm going to go back to my computer. And you're going to uh, get this software called Chicken of the VNC. It's really good software, it's free, link is in the description. Um, I really like it, it's easy to use. So the first thing you do is, you since your computer's on a network, you can detect an IP address. And uh, on your other computer, you can also set up a password protect thing, that way no one else can access it, because that'd be kind of bad. So find your IP address. Usually, uh, let's say you only have two computers on one network, two Macs. Uh, usually, uh, the other Mac is usually one uh, number. The last digit is one number uh, b uh, bigger or smaller. So this is my IP address, 10.0.1.198, and my mom's is 10.0.1.11 or 199. I already entered the password, chose uh, remember password. Just leave it on default profile. View only means you can only view it. You can't change what they're doing. Allow other clients to connect. I would never check that because if someone had access to your network, they could connect and uh, screw with your computer. Full screen display, there's a command that you can do, just enter full screen. Uh, it makes it easier to use. So go ahead and hit connect once you got all of that set up. And there you go. You have a um, you have a different computer. Uh, on, on your screen. And it goes a little slow because it has to transfer all this stuff, but I'm actually if you were to go look at the other computer right now, my mom's computer, luckily she's not here right now because she would be freaking out, you would see this mouse moving around like that. You would see Safari opening. Kind of cool. So to enter full screen, you can either choose a uh, window full screen mode, or you can hit command, option, uh, option or alt, whichever one you prefer. Command, option, control, and the little wavy line next to the one. And there you go. You have full access to another computer uh, that's on your network and this is just awesome because you can see what other people are doing and toy with them uh, you can you can access files from this computer all of the commands work except like volume and stuff if you have a newer iMac the volume command won't work because it's different uh, it's F11 and F12 on the newer Mac on the old one it's like F9 and F10 so you just have to fit, use this. Um, some things don't work, but you can also exit out of full screen and go to a connection, special keys, send command, option, escape, which is the, uh, you know, the um, force quit bar. It'll bring up that. You can send, uh, print, print the page, pretty much anything. You can even do this on a Windows machine, but uh, I it requires, I think, uh, Windows XP, SP3, I'm pretty sure. 
I'm not sure since they don't really connect well with Macs because, uh, you know, Microsoft. Send Control Alt Delete does nothing. Um, I'll be doing another tutorial on how to do it with a PC. Otherwise, this is how you do it, and it's pretty dang awesome. And you can even have this if you really want to be uh, cool and high tech or whatever. You can even have this uh, back to my computer on on a uh, spaces. So you can you can access spaces and um, have different screens. As for me, my uh, spaces command isn't working right now. So you, if you have spaces set up like I should, um, there we go can change between these. So let's say you want your normal desktop here, but then you have someone you want to control on this space. You can go ahead and open Chicken of the VNC on this space. Send it to the... Er, so have it there uh, on full screen mode. And But let's say your mom walks in the room because you're screwing with her computer. You can immediately go to your next screen and it's back to normal. So you, there you have it, two computers. You can have up to as many as you want, although that might make the connection run slow. I'd recommend not having a time capsule backup or uh, Xbox 360 connected to your Wi-Fi or whatever because that can make it lag uh, severely. I know I've been having some problems with lagging. So I think this is really cool. Try it out for yourself. Links are in the description. And uh, have fun with it. Just... Um, don't freak anybody out. I did this to my sister. I, she was like, uh, in Microsoft Word, and I went up here, and she thought the mouse had been screwing up for a few days, so she thought the mouse was screwing up, and I had, I had a command that opened text edit, and I started going, and she completely freaked out, so I would really recommend not doing that. Um, Typing don't be scared on a computer uh, cannot be good. And by the way, you have supreme control over this. So if someone else is trying to move their mouse this way, but you want it to go that way, it'll go the way you say to go. It, it only listens, it, it listens to both of the, the it listens to you as the uh, host of it, but it also listens to the other person, but you have the supreme control. So that's Chicken of the VNC. Um, check out their website. I think it's pretty darn awesome. Uh, thanks for watching my video tutorial. Check in uh, for my next tutorial probably t uh, later today or tomorrow because I'm sick and have nothing to do. Alright, see you.